Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a child theme in WordPress. What you're going to need is your parent theme and a notepad. You'll need the notepad to create a style sheet, which you'll use to create your child theme. Right, in this example, I'm going to be using the 2017 theme, but you can really use any theme you want, and I'll show you how to find and create other child themes for other themes. So the first thing you're going to need is a theme name. I have the name of the theme, to keep things simple, child theme. So I use 2017 child theme. Theme URI is the URI, or the URL, of the website I'm going to put the theme on. In this case, activecode.com. Description, again, just keep things simple, 2017 child theme. The author is me, Will, and the author URI is my website, because I'm the author. Same, same website. If you're creating your theme for someone else, you would put your website there, and then the theme URI would be the website the theme's going on. Now, the template is the big one that people get... Uh, messed up on. If you get the template wrong, you're not going to have your child theme upload properly, there's going to be errors, it's not going to work. Same for add import. If you get this wrong, it's not going to work. You can see here that I did 2017 all lowercase, but if you go here you can see that it's 2017 uh, capitalization space capitalization. And you want, want to know why. Why I, got, I put mine as lowercase in one word. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if you go to theme details, and you go up here, you see it's 2017. This is what I use as my template. This is also the name of the folder of the parent theme. So if you know the back end of WordPress and you know how to find your folders of your themes, you would use the name of the folder. So you can see here, if I go to 2015, it's also 2015. And if you go to the back end, I use FileZilla, you can see here that I have the name of the folders. I have 2015, 2014, 2017, 2016. And so I see here it's one word, all lowercase. And so that's what I would want to use, the name of the folder. I'd use the name of the folder, I'd put it in my style sheet, and it has to be exact, otherwise there's going to be errors. Capitalization matters. If it's there's capitalization in the name of the folder, you have to put the capitalization in the template, also in that URL. If you don't, it's not going to work. Once you get that done, you move on to here to version. I use the beginning version 1.0.0. As you make more updates to your style sheet, you might do 1.0.1 .1, or however you want to um, order it. Again, license and license URI. These don't really matter too much, but I put them in there anyways. Uh, the main things that you need are theme name, URI, description, template, of course, and at import URL. Again, you'll be able to find a blank sheet of this on my website. Um, so at the bottom of the, of the video, just to give you a little helping hand so you don't have to type it out yourself. Um, so now we have the style sheet and we want to upload it to our, our website. So what we have to do, we have to create a folder for it because we have to upload the folder. We can't upload the sheet. All right, so I'm going to go save as. I'm going to actually create a folder. You can see here I've already created the folder, 2017 child. I go into the folder. I'm going to name it style.css. It has to be named style. It has to be a CSS full file. I'm going to save it. Yes, I'm going to replace it. I've already done this before. And uh, now if I go into my documents, I see it's here. But I can't, can't upload this yet. I have to actually zip it up before I can upload it. So I'm going to go to Send To, Compress It, and I have a compressed folder. Now if I go back to my WordPress website, I go Upload, Upload Theme, Use File. Get the compressed file and open. Install now. And it is there. If you have errors, it will say errors at the very top. There will be errors and you will know there's errors. Uh, I've been through this a lot and so I kind of had to learn my lesson. You know when it worked and when it didn't work. This one did work. There's nothing wrong. There's not telling me it's wrong. Everything's perfect. So I go back to it and I can see that my child theme is right here without a photo. In another video I will show you how to add a photo. Also on the link below you'll see how to add a photo. It's very simple. I just want to make this video nice and short. Uh, one topic at a time. Um, but yeah, same thing. If you don't want to upload it through WordPress, you can also upload it through FileZilla or through the back end of your host, right? Um, all you have to do is take the uncompressed folder. You don't you no know compressed when you're using the back end stuff and you would go to it in your, your host or FileZilla and you would drag it into the file name. So you can see here, if I wanted to, 
this right here, all these folders here are my folders on my website. I would take a folder from my computer. Let's see if I can show that right here. A folder from my computer. And um, all I would do is I would take the open one on uncompressed and I would take it, I would drag it in to my FileZilla. It's going to load. They already have it, so I'm going to get some pop ups. And because I actually do already have it on my website, it's not going to appear here for a few minutes. But now, if I do go back to my website, and let's say I didn't have it on my website, and I refresh the page, it would also appear right here, right? And I go to activate it. And there you go. That is how you upload and create a child theme in WordPress.